going to get the RSAT tools from Microsoft. Remote Server Administration tools for Windows 7 with Service Pack 1. Download. Choose the download you want. I'm choosing 64-bit, but if you got 32-bit, you could get that. I have 64. Alright, so it's downloading down there. Alright, now going to launch. Double-clicking. Do you want to install the following Windows software update? Yes. All right, after some time, the installation completed. To begin, we need to add Active Directory in. Let's go to Control Panel, Programs and Features. Turn Windows features on or off. It takes a while to load. Expand it. It's easier to see. Expand Remote Server Administration Tools. Role Administration Tools. So you expand ADDS and ADS LDS Tools. Put a check in Active Directory Module for Windows PowerShell, ADDS Tools, Active Directory Administrative Center, ADDS Snap-ins and Command Line Tools. And say OK. Please wait while Windows makes changes to the features. This might take several minutes. All right, now let's just make sure Active Directory is in there. And it is. We can see Active Directory users and computers. Now we need to add in the Exchange tools. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop esmvista.msi into the root of C. And we're going to open up a command prompt and uh, run as administrator cd dot dot. Obviously, if you're doing this, you're in IT, and that's not that difficult to do. Type in get back to the root of C, and we're just going to type in esm vista dot msi slash Q and then we're gonna hit enter and that's it it just happens in the background because we need to create a, a batch file either there's no default mail client or the current mail client cannot fulfill the most messaging request hmm. okay interesting well, let's see if it works so I'm not sure if that worked or not Whoa, something just happened. All right. So this little batch file here consists of pointing to this, to this directory. C, Windows, System32, DSA.msc, slash 32. All right. I don't know if that worked or not. That did. Okay. All right, so we could see that the email addresses tab is there. I have to block everything else out, but the email addresses tab is there. So those steps again is install the RSAT, the RSAT administration tools, uh, add Active Directory from Add and Remove Programs, add Windows components. Then we run that esmvista.msi from the command prompt. And finally, we have to use the this batch file that points to that. And that's how you'll launch Active Directory on a 64-bit machine. So just use that as your shortcut from now on. It'll open up Active Directory.